Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we are going to be taking this simple uh, shape we have over here and we are going to uh, convert this 2D shape into this 3D looking uh, shape over here. Uh, we will apply some shading to this to make it look like as if it's 3D. Um, so yeah, let's see how to do this. I'm going to start by dragging in the background node let's take a look at this node it's going to be black i can change the color over here so let's just make this um, blue for now and i'm going to add in a rectangle mask to this and this rectangle mask you can of course use any shape that you want you can even do an ellipse let's do an ellipse over here and you have some uh, custom shapes uh, you can do a polygon as well if you right click in the flow and click on add tool shape and you have the ability to add some uh, other shapes as well such as star you have angon and all these um, shapes over here cool so i'm gonna use ellipse and uncheck solid over here and increase the border width uh, like so and i'm going to just reduce the size like that and let's again change the border width a little bit now what you can do is we can copy these two nodes and paste them as an instance so i'm going to hit uh, control shift v to do that and uh, on the second instance background over here i'm going to uh, de-instance the color group so right click and click on the instance color group and this one will be black all right so if you merge these two together this will result in a merge node and if you take a look at it uh, you can see the blue on the top what we want is the black color on the top so you have to right click in the merge node and click on swap inputs or there's a shortcut key for this which is Control t now you can see the black color in front and now what we have to do is just after this instance background add in a gaussian blur click on add and you can just uh, crank up the strength and you can see already see that we have that uh, 3d looking result in here looks really cool right and now you can see that the blur is spilling out to fix this we just have to simply uh, take the output of the ellipse and connect it as an input mask to this caution blur and that should restrict the blur right inside the shape and now we need to add more highlights to this so let's copy and paste this blur again and again take the output of the ellipse and connect it as an input mask and you can see we have uh, some highlights so let's just dial the gaussian blur down let's down, dial down the strength let's do that and you can see that we are getting that really nice looking highlights at the top and at the bottom over here so that's essentially it that's how you can create uh, this cool uh, 3d looking shape now you have the ability to animate it so you can go ahead and animate the length and um, you just notice this thing over here as i move the length slider uh, when it reaches the end you can see that it just kind of uh, adds a bit more depth in the scene looks like as if it's overlapping over here and it just really looks cool in my opinion um, so yeah go ahead and play with the settings over here and you can do this with uh, any shape that you want if you want to change the color you can do that right over here uh, use any color that you want uh, so i'm going to just uh, take this out for a moment and I'm going to use another shape over here and let's uh, use a polygon mask like so connect it up let's take a look at it and draw a random shape so let's um, click 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 draw a shape and let's go to the polygon make sure which uncheck solid and increase the border width like that and let's make this smooth so I'm going to uh, click on modify only over here click on this i'm going to select um, these three points hit shift s on the keyboard and or you can uh, click on this icon that will make it smooth uh, of course you can change it to your taste uh, but yeah then you can copy the polygon and paste it down as an instance control, sh control shift v to do that and uh, connect the instance polygon to this instance background make sure you connect the polygon output to the gaussian blur as an input mask uh, let's do this on both of these nodes if we take a look at it you have the same look on uh, polygon now and you can just animate the length as well 
So there you go. Uh, if you have an SVG file, you can that import that and perhaps you have a, uh, what do you call this, letter mark or word mark thing. And you can animate that and use it as an intro. And that could be another cool um, intro sequence for you. Um, yeah, finally, you can go to the background. I haven't tried it, but I think you can even change the um, type to gradient. So if I use, let's say, a horizontal gradient and yeah, you can change the end color and make it uh, any color that you want. So let's just make it um, something like this. And you can go to Gaussian Blur over here and change the uh, settings over here. Uh, to tune the settings to your liking and uh, yeah you can even change it to like a four corner gradient and change the color to any color that you want so yeah, i guess that's pretty much it that's how you can create this uh, 3d looking shapes inside of davinci resolve i hope this video is helpful hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one